Hi, I'm Mark, and you're watching Mark's Astro Journey. So in this video, I wanted to do a follow-up to a prior video where I talk about I talked about the clunking noise or knocking noise that the mount started to make. So when I was slewing on declination, this thing was making a knocking noise, and it was a little um, concerning just hearing the noise. You know, like something going to get tore up if I kept using it that way. So I did try iOptron support. I sent an email. There's a couple different email addresses out there for them that are you know, published. And I tried both of those and never got any response. I was surprised because earlier on I'd sent them a question and I got a response. I guess they're just buried with support questions right now. So anyways, uh, I did a little more you know, watching of videos, reading different online posts, and I got to thinking maybe it's the belt, maybe the belt is the issue. So on, on the, uh, the belt that runs the worm gear. So I ended up taking this apart and it did turn out to be the issue. So I'm going to show you that quickly. So what we need is a Phillips screwdriver and a two and a half millimeter Allen key. So two screws that hold this cover on. And so here you can see the, the motor and the belts over here. So there are two screws that tighten the motor in place and that's what keeps the tension on the belt. So I noticed this belt, if you push down on it, you can see how much it flexes and the documentation says it should only have three millimeters of flex. It was actually pretty loose. And so what I did is I took an Allen key and I loosened these two bolts. And they say that you can take something flat, very you know, not aggressively, put something flat in between here, not a Phillips screwdriver, and you put some pressure to pry this down. You can also actually take your hand and pull it down, and it puts tension on the belt once this is loose, and then tighten those two um, Allen screws. So just going to check to make sure. I think those are also two and a half. Let's see if they're the two and a half as well. Yep. So those are also two and a half, the same as the Allen screw that's holding the cover on at the bottom. And so basically that's all it was. Once I tightened this belt down, um, my knocking noise went away. So somehow this motor and these two screws, you know, there was some loosening. I don't know if it maybe from the factory that were slightly loose or I had one time where I bumped my mount pretty hard I hit it pretty hard I don't remember what it was like you know hit it with my leg or moving something around it so maybe I loosened it as well here's a side view of this uh, belt that you can see driving the uh, worm gear from the motor and I'll put an extra little extra light on it here too it's in this office it's a little dark I don't know if it's going to help I'm going to see if I can get a little more light on it so you can see that setup so you can see the grooves on the inside of the belt which are catching on the gear right <clears throat> and on the motor and so here are those two bolts that I loosened and then push the motor out a little to add a little tension to the belt and tighten those two screws down 
and now there's no more knocking noise and I'll show that. So now I'm going to set the uh, speed of slewing to 9. And I'm going to go ahead and run that slewing on the declination so we can see how it sounds now. So as you can see, just that minor adjustment to the belt uh, took care of that knocking noise. And uh, now when I'm out, you know, with everything set up with the telescope, um, guide scope, camera, um, you know, all those things, finder scope installed, I'm not hearing any knocking noise, it's just as smooth as it is without any of the, um, the scope or any of the things attached. So if you uh, ever run into this problem with your GEM28 Ioptron mount and you hear that knocking noise, it's something you can take a look at to see if it's just that minor adjustment to the belt. Clear skies.